<laughs> can we get you a, a beret? Yes. And a stripy shirt? Yes. And you can be the full Frenchman. Honestly, it is. I yeah. can't work in the. Welcome to Poptail, episode one, where we take drinks from your favorite pop culture videos and games and make them fun. Today, on the very first episode of Poptail, I am going to make a drink from my favorite book ever written, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now that has been turned into multiple video games, movies, a radio show, a TV show, it's been made into everything. And this drink has featured in every single version of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and it's the Pangalactic Gargle Blaster. Now the thing with the Pangalactic Gargle, I hit the knife. We are in a rare situation with Pangalactic Gargle Blaster in that the book actually tells you how to make it with ingredients that don't exist with a method that makes no sense. So we are going to try and use the method they give us and the ingredients we can get to come as close as we can to making a drink or we'll feel like your brain is being smashed out with a lemon wrapped around a large gold brick. So I'm going to read the instructions that the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy actually gives you for making this and it says take the dukes from one bottle of old gang spirit pour into it one measure of water from the seas of Santraginus 5 we don't know where Santraginus 5 is allow three cubes of Octurian Mega Gin to melt into the mixture it must be properly iced or the benzene is lost benzene doesn't exist either neither does Mega Gin for that matter allow four liters of Phallian Mars gas to bubble through it over the back of your silver spoon, float a measure of Quilactin hypermint extract, drop the tooth of an Algolian sun tiger, watch it dissolve, spreading the fires of the Algolian suns deep into the heart of the drink. Add an olive, drink, but very carefully. None of those ingredients exist. We can't get Algolian sun tigers, there is no Phallian marsh, and we don't know where Santraginus fires. is. They don't exist. But, we can come in very, very close. I'm going to start by smoking my glass. So I'm literally just going to set this shit on fire. Like you last. And then it's easy. You just pop your glass over the top. Which will smother the flame eventually. Releasing a buttload of smoke. Fairly easy. So we got easy. That's... We're going to use... It's basically going to turn out like a martini. So... We're going to use vermouth as your old jank spirit. Mega gin is just regular gin. I'm using Roku gin because I like the different botanicals you get in Japanese gins. Hypermint extract is we're going to use it's creme de menthe. It's basically just a mint with your, it's super sweet. So we're not going to add any sugar to it. So we're not going to need to. The water from Strand Cajun is five. We're just going to use a basic, basic saline solution. It is literally, it is a tablespoon of salt and a half cup of hot water. You just stir it and it will be super salty. You definitely won't need a lot. Yes, I am using store bought lemon juice because I don't currently have a lemon squeezer. So first of all, you're gonna take one of these. This is the glass half of a Boston shaker. It doesn't actually matter what you use as long as you can use a separate bowl or glass, it doesn't matter. All you need to do is drop a bunch of ice cubes in it. So technically the rule for this is to go from your least expensive liquor to your most expensive. If you're making it at home, it's your fault at the time. So you do one shot. I'm using dry vermouth. If you want a sweeter beverage, you can use sweet vermouth. Or you can just add a half shot of sugar syrup. It's not really going to matter. I'm going to add two shots of gin. It's going to be very, very alcoholic. Be very heavy up front, but that's just a martini. You're not going to need a lot of saline solution because you don't want it to just be a salty fried mess. So I'm just going to go with one bar spoon. I'm going to drop it here. A nice bar spoon on that. Just drop that in. And then I'm going to go with a half shot of lemon juice. Remember, the whole description is that it's going to taste like your bone is being smashed out with a slice of lemon wrapped around a large gold brick. So you want it to have that sort of lemony hit, but you're not going to need a lot of lemon juice to cut through this because there's not a very, uh, there's not a lot of other flavors to compete with. 
Take your bar spoon. You're on the stir for like 15 seconds. Not gonna be long at all. Literally, you are cooling and diluting the beverage. Nothing else. You're not adding anything to it. If you need the stuff to emulsify, you'd have to shake it. We're not shaking anything today, so it doesn't matter. You take your glass, you take your single strainer, and you want to go about three quarters to two thirds the way up the glass. About there. And then it says you need to drop the tea on our Golian Sun Tiger. Now, I'm not Joe Exotic, I'm not taking any Tiger tea. But what you do have is this. This is a bright orange, bitter soaked sugar cube. Hence, we're not only cookie sugar. You literally, you just take a sugar cube, which you can buy at the store. I think we got like the CSR or whatever it was. We took a normal, just an Angostura bitters. We did a couple of drops on each side. It goes bright orange. It's still pretty not solid. You're just going to drop it. You're going to want to stir that up. Probably, I would, I would serve it like that, because I like the look. And then I would probably give them a, a small spoon or something to stir it with. My favorite stuff. This is the bit that we argued about babies. So it says to float type of mint extract. Now I could have done bright green minty sugar syrup, but it just wouldn't have been what we were going for. This on the other hand is a very sort of thick, syrupy, delicious goodness. So we're gonna go with a half shot. Usually I would use a pour, but I lost mine. You're going to take the back of your bar spoon and the edge and pour it straight onto the food. The first time I've managed to do that and not throw it all over there. And what you're looking for is this, which is a perfectly split and galactic Now I think the tooth itself is enough to garnish it with. You could just Maybe put a toothpick over it, put the tooth on top, that's perfectly fine. It is a lemony beverage. Really hammer home that lemony flavour. Just gonna want to go the outside. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a pancalactic gargoyle blast. I don't know if any of you have seen the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. If you haven't, you definitely should. It's hilarious, it's completely random, and none of it makes sense. Um, which is exactly why I love it, because it's Sci-fi done like nobody's done sci-fi before, and it's perfect. Here we go, and a taste, the Pan-Galactic Gargle Blaster. Ah! Ah! No, I'm kidding. Um, delicious. So it's very, very gin heavy. It's, you can tell it's got a lot of alcohol in it, but it's actually surprisingly easy to drink. The lemon cuts through the spirits but not without, like it doesn't take the flavor away. So you sort of, you take your first drink and you do get that initial like, wow, like you're taking a shot sort of burn, which leads into sort of a lot of lemon and sort of that salty lemon. And then it just finishes on this lovely, like fresh mint sort of aftertaste, like eating a minty or brushing your teeth. Like that really nice sort of fresh, cold minty aftertaste. That, that's lovely. Take a drink. Two of this, because uh, the only way you should drink three is if you're a 30 ton mega elephant with bronchial pneumonia. Or so, safe old people box stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was our first cocktail of cocktails. Our first poptail, if you will. Just remember, drink, but very carefully. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. All of the recipes will be probably on our Instagram and they'll be in the the description down below. If you find remember to like, share, subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Review by Ledge, Instagram, Real Talk Rice. You can follow Real Talk on Facebook and Instagram, Real Talk underscore pop culture discussions. As always guys, keep it real. Drink it safe.